I told myself that I would probably never make a video like this, but I just decided to really lean into my own opinions and piss some people off, kind of intentionally. Uh, and this isn't one of those hypothetical videos either. This is the one that I know for a fact that all of the comments are going to be disagreeing with me. And you know what? That's okay. We're all here to share our opinions. I just ask that you be respectful, please. There's really no other disclaimers going in except for the fact I want to remind you that my opinion has literally no effect on your life. So just let me love what I love and I will do the same. And I'm only including five horror eras from the 1970s up. So those are just the eras that I'm most familiar with. I don't have very many movie references from before the 1970s. I'm not really into classic horror movies. However, there are a handful of movies that I love from the 1960s that I'll talk about sometime in the future. Anyway, before we get into the video, I just want to thank Shudder for sponsoring today's video. Shudder is, of course, a premium streaming service for all things horror, thriller, and suspense, and has the fastest growing human curated collection with new horror added every single week. Their collection includes blockbuster hits, horror classics, and original and exclusive content such as Vicious Fun, The Mortuary Collection, and PG Psycho Gorman. It has all the best horror documentaries that you could ever wish for, and of course, the hit Creepshow TV series from executive producer of The Walking Dead, Greg Nicotero. A movie that I recently checked out that is a Shudder original is called See For Me, which is kind of a play on be My Eyes. I think that's what the actual app in real life is called. It has Isolated Winter, Cabin in the Woods, Home Invasion. It's about a girl who is blind and is cat sitting for this woman who lives in a remote house, but she's very wealthy, so the house is beautiful and gorgeous, but there's a home invasion, so she has to use the app See For Me, and that girl on the other line has to help her through this home invasion process. A little bit like Don't Breathe, a little bit like Hush if it were that she was blind instead of deaf, but I highly, highly recommend it. So entertaining. So you can stream all the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content completely ad-free on all of your devices, including iOS and Android, Xbox One, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and Google Chromecast, all for $5.99 a month or $56.99 per year. Or of course, you can try Shutter for free for 30 days if you go to Shutter.com and use my code Possess. 30. Now, before we get really into the ranking, I just want to have a little conversation, a little discussion about why some of us might gravitate more towards one era or another. Why do we feel so passionately about our favorite eras of horror? And I have a feeling it really has nothing to do with the quality of movies that come out of that decade. I think maybe it'll help you understand why I personally rank these decades how I do and why you would definitely rank them differently. Firstly, there is no objective best and worst era of horror. Every Everyone likes different things from the horror genre. The horror genre is big enough for all of us to love things in it that we're all going to disagree, and there is no objective, correct answer. Sure, there are those of us in the horror community that put quality of movie over everything, including enjoyment sometimes, but majority of us, I feel like, are in the horror community because at the end of the day, we just want to be entertained. The eras that I have the most fun with are very personal to me, and the same could probably be said for you. One pure nostalgia. That's what is the driving force for me personally, and I think that can be said for a lot of the horror community. We have a love for a certain time period in general, not just with horror movies, but pop culture as well, and it not isn't necessarily the decade that we grew up in. However, I do have a theory that most of us are drawn to the era of horror that got us into the horror genre in the first place. Basically the decade that we grew up watching. This isn't going to be the case for everybody, but I think generally that's what I notice. And also we're just all so different. We're all going to love different things. Just like music and books, movies are a form of art and everyone is going to interpret them differently and like different things. What you think is probably a terrible movie with a bad story is going to be someone else's favorite movie of all time, guaranteed. If you wanna ruin your day, go read negative reviews on your personal favorite movies. Let's get into my personal ranking. Uh, and normally I would start from worst to best. I just feel like saving the best for last is ideal. However, you guys have been around on my channel for a while. You already know what's going to be the best era of horror for me and is the main reason, including the last place one, why people are going to be upset with this video. So we're gonna start with the best and work our way to the worst. The early 2000s. 
you knew that was coming. You knew I was gonna put early 2000s first. I was born in 1990, so I was a teenager and growing up in the early to mid 2000s. Most of my favorite movies in general, not just in the horror genre, come from this decade. And I really used to be so embarrassed by this opinion because I felt like I was in such a minority. And when I first started this channel, you could not have pried that information out of me. In fact, I think I brainwashed myself into thinking that it wasn't my favorite era of horror and I told myself that the classics were, um, which is just not accurate. And now that I'm getting older, it's like, I'm just gonna embrace my opinion. Love exactly what you love. I promise you, you're not alone, even if you feel like it. <laughs> and I'm not embarrassed or ashamed anymore that this is my favorite era because this era is so iconic. So many fantastic horror movies and movies in general, media in general, have come from this era and you can't argue with that. I think the early 2000s and the 2000s in general really get a bad rap for being the initial era of remakes, reboots, and sequels. And it was. We got a lot of American remakes from foreign movies. We have a lot of sequels to previous franchises. But if you look at all the original horror that came out of this era, they're just so fantastic. I did make a whole video on my favorites from this decade up here. I think there's also a list on my letterbox as well if you just want to look at the movie posters and see which ones I include. But this era will always always be my favorite. I think the 2000s gave us, for one, tech horror, a video that I just did, uh, supernatural movies like we've never seen before. Found footage was popularized during this era. Obviously, it didn't start in this era, but close to, uh, but it became very popular in this era. And of course, the most noteworthy, most recognizable horror franchises almost of all time came from this era. We have Saw, Final Destination, and Paranormal Activity. And this is the era that made me fall in love with horror in general and why I love PG-13 supernatural horror movies. Most of them came from this era. I feel like that's what this era really offered to the horror community. So I owe my entire career pretty much up until this point to this decade. So in second place, we have the 1990s. Of course, I am more drawn to the later 90s movies because they still kind of feel like that early 2000s-ness. I feel like my per my favorite era, if I had to choose, would be the late 90s, early 2000s, but we're ranking decades, so we're going with all of the 90s. <laughs> Again, I've done my favorite movies from this decade. If you wanna check it out up here, I've done the first three decades we're gonna talk about, so you can check the cars up here if you wanna know my favorite movies from these decades. And I've actually fallen more and more in love with the 90s and 90s horror specifically as I get older. I feel like I'm discovering new movies from this era. I was too young to really grow up with a lot of horror from this decade. I did see my first two horror movies ever in this decade, of course, probably a little bit too young, but they're uh, one's PG-13, so it's fine. I saw <laughs> Pet Cemetery and The Sixth Sense during the 90s. So the 90s really offered a continuation of the slasher genre, of course. We have the Scream movies taking place in the 90s and movies like Urban Legend, which is underrated, highly recommend. But we also got a few franchise movies as well, like the Child's Play movies and Nightmare on Elm Street and of course, Texas Chainsaw. So the sequels were still coming. I feel like that's never ended. We're in the 2020s now, still not ending. Probably should. But I think the 90s is when we really started to step away from a lot of those slasher things and introduce a lot more different types of horror, more supernatural horror, a little bit of found footage in the latter part of the decade. However, because it was the decade after the 80s, we still have a lot of great sci-fi and body horror type movies. Movies like The Faculty, Event Horizon, and the Alien franchise continued in this decade. And what I love about these movies from the 90s is they not only borrowed the sci-fi elements and body horror from the 80s, but also the practical effects were still kind of taking place. A lot of Stephen King adaptations took place in the 90s, of course, but I feel like every decade there's a lot of Stephen King adaptations, a little bit less maybe in the 2000s, definitely a lot less in the 2010s. But of course in the 90s we had movies like Misery, Thinner, and It. I just think the 90s had the perfect combination of borrowed inspiration from the sci-fi body horror 
practical effects of the 80s, but also including the kind of supernatural teen horrors that the early 2000s gave us, that was starting in the 90s. So it's definitely my second favorite decade of all time. Okay, so I think this next one is where we're really gonna get controversial. The, the first two, I think a lot of people agree 90s are great. Um, don't feel self-conscious about that at all. <laughs> Actually, I'm not self-conscious about any of this video, but this next one is going to start to, we're, we're gonna get a little controversial. Remember, I'm only ranking five, so you're gonna see which are the last two, and that's that's when people are gonna comment. So the next decade that I love, in third place, the 2010s. I know, just leave a comment now, just do it. I just think the 2010s get a bad reputation, but I think that they have some of the most unique horror movies that any decade has to offer. I feel like you can't really pinpoint exactly what the 2010s are going to be famous for as far as the horror genre goes. When you look at every other decade, you can kind of notice a theme for all of the movies, but the 2010s, granted you can pick out certain themes, there's many of them, they just offered so much to the horror genre. It seems that in decades prior, a lot of filmmakers were just piggybacking off of familiar concepts and things that were very effective in previous decades or even previous movies or franchises, and they were trying to make their own versions of that versus the 2010s, we really started to see a new type of horror come out. <laughs> Obviously, we have very unique, different horror movies from every single decade. There's examples for all of that, but I think the 2010s as a whole, everyone was trying to do something different. Everyone was trying to create a new type of horror film. I think they really wanted to stand out from other horror filmmakers and other horror movies, so they tried to be really different versus just filming cash grabs like a lot of previous decades might have been known for. We have new directors from this era, such as Jordan Peele and Jennifer Kent, creating very unique original horror movies with a psychological influence like we've never seen before. I think if people had to describe the 2010s as like what subgenres were really popular, two things would come up, supernatural and psychological, which generally those two things are my favorite subgenres of horror. So naturally I would gravitate towards this era. Of course, we have Insidious and The Conjuring, which are leaning more towards the demonic influences. Now, this is ranked third because it really did propel and continue the era of remakes, reboots, and sequels. <laughs> we just cannot seem to break out of it, and I think the 2010s could have been that era where we kind of stopped doing that, uh, but unfortunately, we're still in that era because the 2010s could not break away from it. We still have endless amounts of original horror movies coming out and that's not the issue i'm not saying we don't it's just everything is always going to be overshadowed by the big franchises by the remakes reboots and sequels it will be interesting to see where the 2020s will rank at the end of the decade if i had to predict where this era would rank probably third no fourth it'd be after the 2010s i if i had to predict Obviously, we don't know. We're only two years in. So before we continue, I just want to say that I love all of the horror decades. I don't dislike any of them. This is just me personally ranking them if I had to. None of them are the worst. None of them are bad. They all offer something so unique to the horror genre. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, up fourth, we have the 1970s. So obviously, you know what decade is last. That's, that's the one I think people are gonna have an issue with. But the 1970s, let's talk about it. I absolutely love the grittiness and the strange ass movies <laughs> that we got out of the 1970s. The 70s offered super original horror movies and many that quote unquote did it first that I think the 80s get a lot of the credit for, but the 70s did it first. I think slashers tend to be associated with the 80s, which that is definitely the era of slashers. However, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Halloween are 70s movies. And I think those movies, of course, really put slashers on the map. This, of course, is the beginning of the Stephen King adaptations. We have the first ever being Carrie, and we have many, many of the originals that inspired later future remakes, specifically of the early 2000s. The early 2000s love to remake a 70s 70s horror movie. I haven't done my favorites yet for this decade, and I will name a few in just a second, but in general, this just has some of the best well-done traditional horror movies of any decade, including the 80s, and I will die on that hill. Black Christmas, Texas Chainsaw, Alien, The Exorcist, 
to name a few. And honestly, the 70s is tied with the 2010s. I just rank it a little bit lower because I don't really have a good reason. They're they're tied. They're they're tied for third. That's what I'm going to I'm going to go with that. But do keep an eye out for my future videos on my favorites from the 70s and 80s and possibly the 60s. We'll see. It may be top five instead of top 10, but that's okay. Okay, so in last place, obviously there's only one more remaining, the 1980s. And yes, I'm very strong in that opinion. It is, I don't wanna say one of the worst eras of horror because obviously it offered so much, but it is one of, if not the least original eras of horror. The 80s can be defined so simply, I feel, and obviously there's exceptions. I'm not saying we didn't get a lot of original horror, we didn't get a lot of creative, unique ideas or any supernatural movies from this era, but it can really be boiled down to like one or two things that's really going on in the 80s. And it was effective. It was a great time for that decade but it's just not my favorite, not my thing. This decade still holds some of my favorite horror movies of all time, so keep that in mind. John Carpenter's The Thing is one of my favorite movies of all time. It is a perfect movie to me and has body horror that cannot be topped, and I really, you know, I'm sad that we can't embrace that kind of practical effects in today's era because I feel like with our technology and our makeup abilities, it would be so cool. And I do think the 80s gets a bad rap for its bad effects because obviously they're very cheesy, but I personally really enjoy the... I still personally really get a kick out of all of the practical effects and weird effects that came out of the 80s. I think it's just so unique for that era and really entertaining. I know it's goofy and it looks cheesy sometimes, but I think it's really fun. That being said, it's ranked last because these are just not my favorite movies to seek out. Generally, I am drawn to supernatural, psychological, paranormal, PG-13, all of that kind of stuff. I'm not really into body horror slashers as much as those other genres. I've always been entertained by an 80s movie. Don't get me wrong, it's probably the most entertaining era of horror. But at the end of the day, they all seem to like follow this familiar recipe for a horror movie and they all kind of piggyback off of one another. This is that era that I was talking about when I said they kind of cash grab and try to copy one another and do what everyone else is doing as far as like body horror and effects and things like that, slashers. This is probably the era of Stephen King adaptations though. We have Cujo, Pet Cemetery, The Shining, Cat's Eye, Firestarter. Oh, we also got Creep Show, which is one of my favorite Stephen King things of all time when he partnered with George A. Romero. Love Creep Show, but I think this was his era, like books and movies. We just didn't get enough supernatural horror from this era for me to rank it higher. I'm not saying objectively it's the worst one. For me personally, not my favorite. It's a personal list. <laughs> we would not have horror as we know it today without the 80s. I'm not discrediting that and its impact on the horror genre, but I'm not going to be drawn to an era that is known for its slashers. That's not my favorite genre. And this is why I know that this video is going to make a lot of you guys upset, which is okay. Please leave a comment. I want to know what, what is your ranking? What are your favorites from these decades? What's your favorite number one horror decade ever? I want to hear your rankings down below. But yeah, feel free to share your thoughts on mine. I know you will anyway. Just be nice, please. Thank you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.